Right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole number two. Just going to get these going. So what I typically do on this hole is a quarterback off the tee. Should be all you need. You may want to go tighten just to give yourself that extra range. If you can keep yourself in range, you'll wind up with a better shot. So backing off the top spin can actually be a good thing. So I'm gonna come back just a little bit. And as I mentioned, you know, just making sure that the tighten, you know, more so than needing the distance, just being able to keep yourself in range, just in case you get towards the back end of a short iron, it's gonna be much easier to hold. So, you know, it's worth it uh, just to make sure that you don't go outside of short iron. You're really not going to want a long iron for this hole unless you absolutely have to. You can see that quarterback really gets you bent around there. And, uh, you know, it can come down to, you know, five yard differences in tee shot can be the difference between you needing to go into power and not. So that's the main reason that you see me using the Titan ball. Otherwise, you know, you can get away with like a navigator, uh, but you really need to be a little bit more on point with your drives, making sure that you don't keep it on the short side or catch some kind of bad bump or clip the rough or any of that. So you can see both of us use a Titan. You know, I, I don't mind wasting them. I, I pretty much, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sparing with my ball. Oh, oh, oh. So I didn't. So typically what I'll do is a thorn backspin shot. I, I can't believe I don't have thorn on. Uh, we're gonna have to deviate from that shot, but here you can see is where Max Club is. So, you know, I'm within kind of a 10 yard window of where I need to be. I'm gonna play this pretty close. We're, we're just gonna go for the dunk in this case. I'm thinking 1.3-ish, 1.2-ish per ring. 1.4, I mean. So maybe just more than two rings. Somewhere right around here. And with perfect ball, there should be a good chance that I'll be able to make it. Ideally, you know, you can use a thorn. Ooh, so just, just off on the dunk. Um, ideally, you can bring in a thorn shot and you'll see a full back spin. If you need some assistance on that, what I would recommend is one right spin and coming in from the left side from with this wind. So you can check out my pro guide if you'd like. Definitely don't go off the fairway. You're better off going for the dunk. You can see at two rings, I almost made it. So it was about 1.5, 1.6 per ring in that situation. And I was just a little bit over on my ring adjustment. But that's something that you can get more dialed in with, more attempts that you get, and you could definitely pretty much guarantee that you could make that uh, with some practice and being very consistent. You can see my opponent here kind of short hitting it off the front of the shot circle. If you're going to go for the dunk, you can't do that. You need to be very centered with the way that you put that ball in the center each and every time. Otherwise, you'll see that you'll short hit it and you will miss the dunk 100% of the time. So keep that in mind. Good luck with that hole. Hopefully you're able to get the eagle and I will catch you guys on three.